Hi there, my name is Dee and thank you for clicking on my video. Today is the third Friday of the month, which means it's Art Addicts Alliance upload day. Man, it does not seem like a month since my last upload, but here we are. If you're not familiar with the Art Addicts Alliance, we are a small group of artists here on YouTube who collaborate every month on a theme that we vote on. You can actually help us suggest and vote on themes for future videos if you join our Discord server. That's where we all hang out and chat and share our art and videos. Even if you're not a permanent member of the Art Addicts Alliance, you're still welcome to share your art and videos there as well. This month's theme choices were Tarot and Autumn, and I went with Autumn. It's really one of my favorite seasons, and I just love the color palettes associated with it. I started off doing a digital sketch because proportions are a pain, and then once I'm happy with my line art, I'll transfer it to some watercolor paper. Before we get into the painting process, here are all the current members of the Ardetics Alliance. We also have a featured guest this month, Jude's Arts Desk. All their channel links will be in the description box, so after this you can see how they interpreted this prompt. To learn more about how you can become a member of the Ardetics Alliance or be featured by us as a guest, watch till the end of this video. I transferred my sketch using a brown coal erase pencil. And I'm just going over some areas with a brown fine liner to define some lines that I plan on staying dark, especially because with watercolors, this will be a watercolor painting by the way, I tend to lose some of the features and when they're more defined, like with a fine liner, I am less likely to lose them. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to tape my paper down to a piece of cardboard I just cut out of a cereal box. I like doing this instead of taping it to my desk because it lets me move the painting around if I need to. Normally I wouldn't be super picky about the tape placement, but for this piece I actually have a border that I've drawn around the edges that some of the elements will be breaking out of. I've always liked that look in art. Once I've got the tape right on the borders, I went ahead and outlined everywhere my drawing breaks the border so I can easily cut it out with an X-Acto knife. This does take a bit more work and effort, but I found that this step lets me fill in my background color and still end up with those crisp white outer borders that some parts of my drawing will be overflowing onto. It's kind of funny watching this part back. It's all sped up and I'm like, Wow, I did a pretty good job. Look how precise I was. It went super fast too. <laughs> this is sped up to 16 times speed and in reality it took me what felt like forever. Totally worth it though. Something I've noticed when painting in a solid wash of one color, it can help to use the wet on wet method where you first put down a layer of just water so that when you add paint, it all blends together smoothly with no hard edges. But since my total background area is quite small in between the different elements on the drawing, I'm using the wet on dry technique where I'm sure you can guess that it's putting wet paint down on dry paper. I just keep a bead of water at the edge of my paint strokes as I reload my brush and it keeps the wash pretty smooth without having to wet the paper first. Another benefit I found from this was that sometimes when I do the wet on wet method I can accidentally wet a section of the paper I didn't want to and when the color goes down it's hard to reverse. For example, since there are so many leaves floating through the drawing I have more control over where my background color goes by using wet on dry. And since my leaves will be lighter than the background, it's important for me to preserve the white in those areas. I am using the wet on wet method for the skin because it's a larger area and it's more important to me that the skin be as smooth as possible. I'm liking the contrast the light skin has on the background, but my vision was for a darker skin tone so I was just practicing where to put my values in lighter tones before I darken them up.
I decided to do the base colors for the leaves next because I plan on the hair being black and I didn't want to lose any of my crisp leaf edges by accidentally going over them with black. Just playing it safe. I used gradients of color through the leaves since our theme is autumn and I should mention that I'm using hot press watercolor paper which is a lot smoother and less textured than cold press and that's because I'm going to be using colored pencils for the detail work. When I used colored pencils on cold press paper, since the texture is rougher, it can spread the pencil pigment out, making it hard to get those precise details, in my own experience anyway. Cold press paper is great for more loose and expressive painting, and you can still do fine details on it, obviously, but at this stage in my art journey, I'm not quite confident enough with paint to be able to have the same level of control as I do with colored pencils. So for watercolor pieces that I plan on using colored pencils, I'll stick with hot press paper. For the hair, the style is like a side braid where the top is slicked back. I put down a base color of black that dried pretty light and then I go in with a less diluted black paint for some details. I really love drawing and painting hair, I think it's one of my favorites. Later I go back over the hair to add in more strands using some black fine liners, pencils, alcohol markers, I just tried whatever I had to see which result I liked the most. I should have left the braid white when I painted the background so those highlights would be brighter. I still use a white pencil to bring out some highlights, so it's okay. I haven't used my metallic paints in a while, so I decided to use this Komarebi set to give her some sparkly gold earrings and eyeshadow. Now that I'm done with painting, I can make room on my desk. <laughs> Does anyone else start out with a clean desk and then by the middle of a project, you seem to have nowhere to set anything down except on top of other things? My paper is pretty curled, so I'm going to wipe down my desk, spray the back of the painting with water and set something heavy on it and the paper will dry flat. After you spray the back of the paper, you want to dry off the desk or table again so the water on the desk doesn't make your painting bleed. I left it overnight and as you can see, nice and flat. But to be honest, I do end up going over some areas with paint again so it warps a little more, but you can do this flattening step more times if you need to. I almost forgot I had this portrait set of colored pencils. I don't think I'll fit all their swatches on my colored pencil swatch paper. I was using a mix of Tuscan Red, Chocolate, and Dark Umber for some of the shading and details. For the final touches, I added some shadows around the leaves, a white blurred border around the character, and some stray hair strands, and the painting is finished. So 
So this is my piece for the prompt autumn. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to check out the other members of the Art Addicts Alliance in the description and also our featured guest for the month of September, Jude's Arts Desk. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Art Addicts Alliance, all we ask is that you be at least 14 years old, have at least 100 subscribers, and do mainly art on your channel. We also require that all members join our Discord server just because it's the easiest way to communicate with each other and it's where we suggest and vote on our prompts. You'll need to make an audition video using any past prompt and all current members will vote you in. If you'd just like to be a featured guest like Jude is, there's no subscriber requirement and you'll make a video using the same prompt we do and your channel will get shouted out by all the members on Art Addicts Alliance on upload day. Just request to be a featured guest on our Discord server and we'll vote you in. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!